Clever TV has got the recap on last night's season one finale for MTV's breakout hit show, Teen Wolf. Hey guys, I'm Jocelyn Davis, and I think it's safe to say that the final episode left fans surprised, pleased, and wanting more. So just yesterday, we heard rumored reports that a couple of people on the show would die, and at least one new wolf would emerge. And now we know that those rumors have been confirmed. Following the Alpha's attack on Lydia in the last episode, she's placed in the hospital. The Alpha, Peter Hale, as you know, informs Styles that if Lydia survives her injuries, she will become a wolf. Styles is also forced to help Peter locate Derek, who's still being held captive by Allison's aunt, as Peter threatens Styles by saying that if he doesn't help him, he'll hurt Scott. Peter, also oh so generously, offers Styles the opportunity to take the bite and join the pack, to which Styles immediately pulls his hands away. Now, on the note of Scott, he's incredibly devastated, of course, that Allison knows what and who he is. And Allison is whisked away by her aunt. That is, of course, until her aunt takes her out into the woods to hunt. They end up shooting down Scott and the newly freed Derek. Derek has agreed to help Scott after Scott uncovers info that confirms the fact that Peter Hale knowingly killed Derek's sister in order to take on the alpha role. Peter is not the only backstabber on this episode, though. Styles discovers that Allison's aunt was the one who set the Hale house on fire, and for some reason, she has a seriously malicious streak. So when Allison's dad comes across his own sister about to kill Scott, he stops her and points his gun at her. But he and the rest of the group quickly learn that they have competition from the Alpha who slashes her throat. Whoa. Long story short, Jackson and Styles also arrive on the scene, and when a battle ensues between the Alpha and pretty much everyone else out there, the unlikely duo save the day with the firebombs from the school, hurling them at the Alpha as Allison grabs her bow and arrow to bring break the glass canisters and ignite the bombs. So as the Alpha lies dying, Derek hovers over him and does the final deed, killing him once and for good, and thus taking on the Alpha role for himself. Now following this whole insane scene, we see Allison and Scott cuddling on the roof, so cute. Lydia is still in the hospital and not yet becoming a wolf, and Jackson seems to finally get the bite that he wants from Derek, but the shot cuts right before we get the confirmation. So guys, the good news here is that Allison and Scott are still together despite all the odds against them, but the bad news is that Derek appears to have taken an evil turn. And of course, we have absolutely no idea what's going on with Lydia. So what do you guys think is happening here, and what are your predictions? Either way, we're going to have a very, very long time to ponder those questions and a whole lot more because the Teen Wolf cast has not even begun shooting season two. So everybody, for updates on the show, make sure to stick with Clever TV by subscribing to our channel on YouTube. I'm Jocelyn Davis in our Hollywood headquarters, and we'll see you next time.